Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving a homemade functional equation. And I just want to say sorry about the first method because it's going to be a little painful. But there's a lot of uh, good stuff here uh, in the first method. So let's get started. My first method basically involves solving a quadratic equation. So my goal is to solve for f of x, find an expression for f of x. So I'm going to go ahead and take this whole thing here and set it equal to, let's say, z. Okay, so now my goal is to find it uh, like an expression for f of z and then turn it into f of x. So this means f of z equals the following, uh, the right hand side, but let's go ahead and find out what x is in terms of z. So x squared over 2 plus x over 4 equals z, based on my assumption. And I'm going to go ahead and multiply everything by 4. That gives me 2x squared plus x equals 4z, to be or not to be, didn't work. 2x squared plus x minus 4z equals 0. So we're going to treat the z as a constant for now and solve this as a quadratic in x. And the quadratic formula tells us that x can be written as negative 1 plus minus the square root of 1 plus 32z all over 4. Awesome. There's a plus minus, which means there are two solutions. Which one am I going to use? I'm going to use one of them, but I don't think if you use the other one, uh, you're going to get the same answer. So I think it'll give you the same thing. You can test it out. It shouldn't, uh, it should work. So suppose x equals negative 1 plus the square root of 1 plus 32z over 4. Or I can write it a little nicer by putting the radical first because I kind of want to write it as a difference and not as a sum. So like this. Okay, so x can be written like this, which is important because now this is equal to x and I want to use it in my expression. Obviously, where? On the right hand side. I do need x to the fourth, I do need x to the third, and I need x squared. So we've got a lot of work to do. First of all, let's go ahead and square both sides here. If you square both sides, you're going to get the following. 1 plus 32z minus 2 times the square root of 1 plus 32z plus 1. And all of that is divided by 16. If you simplify this a little bit, you're going to get 2 plus 32z. But if you divide both the top and the bottom by 2, you're going to get the following. 1 plus 16z minus the square root of 1 plus 32z over 8. Now, I want to find, this is x squared, and I want to find x cubed. To find x cubed, I'm going to use x squared times x. I already have an expression for x squared, so why not use it like this? And then multiply that by x, but x I already know it's equal to square root of 1 plus 32z minus 1 over 4. Remember, that was the very first thing we found by using the quadratic formula. And then I said, hey, let's suppose we use the positive version. Now, this is x cubed. And if you distribute, obviously, you're going to get uh, something nice from here. But when you distribute, uh, you're going to have a 32 at the bottom. Let me just kind of give you what it is. Uh, without further ado, you, you can just go ahead and multiply these distributive property. We should be getting 2 plus 16z multiply by square root of 1 plus 32z. And then minus 2 minus 48z. And all of that is divided by 32. Now, I can definitely go ahead and divide both sides by 2 here, and that gives me x cubed equals 1 plus 8z multiply by the square root of 1 plus 32z minus 1 minus 24z, and all of that is now divided by 16 because I simplified it. Now, I want to find x to the fourth. So, this is x to the third power. I got it. I have something for x squared, and now I'm going to go ahead and find x to the fourth power. What is x to the fourth power, right? That is x squared squared. So let's go ahead and replace x squared with what it is. It is 1 plus 16z. Hopefully you saved it somewhere. Square root of 1 plus 32z all over 8. Now I'm going to go ahead and square this expression. When I square, I get 1 plus 16z squared. And how about I kind of skip some of these steps and give you what we get from here. So x to the fourth is just going to be 2 plus, uh oh. 2 plus 64z plus 256z squared minus 2 plus 32z multiply by the square root of 1 plus 32z. And that's x to the fourth power. 
and all of that is divided by 64 because i square 8. Now we, this can be simplified. x to the fourth can be written as 1 plus 32z plus 128z squared minus 1 plus 16z. All of that multiplied by the square root of 1 plus 32z. Therefore, I just multiply the top and the bottom by 2 and simplified my expression. Now is the time to substitute everything in to find 4x to the fourth plus 4x cubed plus x squared. And let me tell you what we get from here. Remember, this is x to the fourth power. I have x to the fourth. I have x to the third. And I have x squared here. Okay? I'm going to put it all together and then simplify the expression. And again, in the interest of time, let me go ahead and give you what we get from here without showing you all the steps. I hope you don't mind. So this gives me 1 plus 32z plus 128z squared minus 1 plus 16z multiply by the square root of 1 plus 32z. And then from this, I'm going to add, I'm probably going to have to move this a little bit to the left, like this. Cosine didn't move, but that's okay. We can probably delete it. Let's go ahead and erase that. And so this expression, and then I'm going to have uh, 1 minus 16z, and then I'll have 2 plus 16z multiply by the square root of 1 plus 32z. And then from this, I'm supposed to subtract minus 2 minus 48z plus 1 plus 16z minus the square root of 1 plus 32z. That's a very long expression. That's why I didn't want to put you through all that trouble. I did all the work for you. And this is divided by 8 because after adding and making a common denominator and simplifying the stuff and everything, we get that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, simplify this a little bit, but notice a couple things here. Uh, a lot of stuff is going to cancel out. For example, we have like a, a 1 plus 1 here, for example, 1 plus 1, and we do have a minus 2 here. So they're going to cancel out. And then I also have like 32z plus 16z. These two are going to add up to 48z, and there's a negative 48z that's going to cancel out. And I believe that's the whole thing that cancels out. Now I can go ahead and write it like this. 128z squared plus square root of 132z. So I wanted to take out this expression because a lot of these terms have that. So why don't we just go ahead and factor it out. And inside the parentheses, I'm going to get negative 1 minus 16z plus 2 plus 16z minus 1. And all of that is divided by 8. But notice that more terms cancel out here. For example, 2 minus 1 minus 1 is 0. This also becomes 0. So this just product becomes a 0. Therefore, I end up with 128z squared divided by 8. And remember, that was the value of what we're looking for on the right-hand side. And this can be written as 16z squared. And if you go back and remember what we used for z, z replaced the whole thing. And now on the right-hand side, we got 16 z squared. Isn't that awesome? As a conclusion, we got f of z equals 16 z squared. And since I'm looking for an expression for f of x, that can be written as 16 x squared. That kind of looks simple, right? After all these simplifications, because that was the intention. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. And again, I'm sorry for the all the pain that I had to put you through, but hopefully the second method will make up for that. Let me rewrite the original problem. I have this equals that. And now I'm going to make a common denominator, <laughs> common denominator here. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to do a little bit of algebraic manipulation. How about taking out x squared? That gives us 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. And I just happen to realize, pretend to be surprised. I just happen to realize that this expression is 2x plus 1 quantity squared. Therefore, we have a product of two squares. Therefore, we can write it as the square of the product. And that gives us something real nice. Because now this becomes, this becomes x, 2x squared plus x quantity squared. But remember, we do have we do have a 4 on the left hand side, which we will take care of. Now, here's what we're going to do from here. If you can go ahead and call this something like t, 
this is going to be 40, right? So we're going to get f of t equals 16t squared, which means f of x can be written as 16x squared. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.